We are at Camp Lee, just outside of Jigs, Nevada. Today we're doing varsity visit vision training for our, our young men and our adult leaders so they can uh, learn how to do better, better scouting, better activities. Well, I've been involved with the Boy Scouts since I was about eight years old. I went up through the program as a youth and then when I became an adult, I started helping out as an adult and uh, my current calling is as a scoutmaster. And what we're doing here right now is, is just kind of getting the boys tuned, tuned up for what they can do. The purpose of the program is to help the young men become good citizens, give them some life skills. One of the things that they need to do for their advancement is go through uh, interview kind of things. Uh, we call them boards of review. Well, it's the same thing as a job interview. You go in and you talk with people and it helps them to learn things. There's uh, merit badges in the scouting program where they have to go learn to be uh, citizenship in the community, citizenship in the nation, citizenship in the world. There's things like that that help them to be good citizens. And then there's things like cooking, uh, emergency preparedness, first aid that help them to, to just get through life without killing themselves or to get through life more comfortably. I have three little boys, uh, three, five, and nine. My, my oldest is, is involved in the program now. It's a personal satisfaction to, to see young men be able to accomplish something and, and grow and become good citizens. Uh, I've got some of the kids where I, I started as an assistant scoutmaster 10 years ago. They're serving in the military. They're serving in responsible positions. They've finished college. Uh, they've got good jobs. They're contributing to the world. And that, that is a, a big accomplishment for me. You know, it's, it's such a satisfaction to see what, what others have accomplished, and I help them to do it. I actually was really fortunate to be involved with the Mining and Society Merit Badge that was just rolled out in February. And it's a brand new merit badge that, that specifically targets mining. And so the boys get to go and find out what advantages there are to mining, you know, what, what it does for us. Because a lot of people don't recognize that, you know, everything you have, if it didn't come out of a plant, it came out of a mine. And so, you know, our, our vehicles, our, our bicycles, everything we have, and even most of the agricultural stuff wouldn't be possible without mining to, to create the equipment to make it possible. I'm a, I'm a geologist, I'm a rock licker. Uh, but uh, right now my, I'm currently in an environmental compliance role, and so I'm also a tree hugger. <laughs> Uh, I basically make sure that we, we am, uh, maintain our compliance with all of our permits and the, the laws of the land, uh, that we're not doing anything that's going to harm the environment. You know, I grew up in the mining industry. I, I'm the sixth generation of my family, so uh, no, I, I've never felt... When I, I spent my summers as a kid uh, going out to our family mines, and we were out in nature. So for me, it's almost one and the same. Uh, mining isn't isn't what it used to be where we, we go and make these big holes in the ground and leave environmental disasters. Mining is pretty environmentally friendly uh, compared to what it used to be. And everything that we mine, we have to have anyway. Um, so no, I don't, I don't feel that there's any conflict. And I think the boys appreciate knowing where things come from. I just, I, I have a, a real love of helping people to become more self-sufficient. And that's really kind of what the the scouting program does. Um, it helps them to learn to take care of themselves.